Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Lazy Girls Guide to Podcasting with me, Verity. Last week I was at the podcast show London and I had the absolute privilege of being able to speak to the Shaw team there and thank you so much to Ash who let me interview him because his colleagues completely threw him under the bus when I approached the stand and asked for somebody to talk to me about Shaw microphone use. So that's exactly what we talked about, all about how to effectively use any kind of microphone for creating and recording your podcast. So do stick around until the end of the episode because Ash from Shaw actually gives us three top tips for recording with the best quality possible on any microphone. And we also talk about why it's so important for podcasters to wear headphones during their recording uh, setting studio session. That's the word I'm looking for. So make sure that you stick around to the end of this episode for those top tips. Let's dive in and I really hope you enjoy the episode. I am here with Ash from Shaw, who is going to be talking to us all about microphones. Thank you very much for your time, Ash. You're looking very, very sceptically because I know that your colleagues just completely threw you under the bus for talking to me here. Thank you for your time. No problems at all, Verity. Nice to meet you. So I wanted to talk to you about Shaw microphones. I know you do other things other than microphones, but there's a lot of hype about Shaw microphones. Why is that? Yeah, obviously, you can see Shure microphones used by a huge variety of podcasters. The SM7B is, yep. is kind of an industry start, and it's a, well, a lot of people have or aspire to have. Um, Myself included. The reasons, you know, it's such a big name in, in the podcast microphones. Interestingly, the 7B started as a studio microphone. So it was ever designed as a podcast microphone. Sure has over 100 years of, I mean, up to actually, years expertise in, in producing technology so Which i think it's incredible to think of i'm just gonna say but if we think about podcast if we think of audio we kind of think i don't know we don't think of hundred years certainly not no and obviously the early days it, it really wasn't anything like you'd imagine now yeah the 7b was developed as a vocal mic it was recorded used to record things i might sister in her album wow so it's it's got a long standing in, in sort of music the part obviously if, if the capsules as good as that's got high-profile artist voices, that it makes sense, it's going to work well, the speech, the vocals are there, it's podcasting. So that's been a, yeah, a, 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 a sort of slow migration and, a, and an interesting growth for, for short microphones in general. Definitely. So we're standing with beautiful short microphones right here. I wish I did a video. I really need to learn to do video. But, but I mean, it's kind of like, you know, on brand that would, would talk you audio anyway. What kind of tips can you give people when they're using a microphone, any kind of microphone, if it's a short microphone, amazing, but any kind of microphone for their podcasting, what kind of tips can you give them? Yeah, certainly. I mean, with modern sort of computer technology, um, audio processing, there's a huge amount you can do after you've recorded to improve the quality, but really the best way to get a good quality recording is to record it well in the first place. Yes. The first thing we she says with this tiny little seven pound ninety nine <laughs> microphone. But the first thing we'd often recommend is the environment. So you know, it, it's we're we're studying a, a big exhibition hall it's today. Like a lot of to take this. Yeah, yeah. It, it may well do. So yeah, get your environment right first. Uh, sort furnishings in the room you're using are always a big advantage. Yeah, and yeah, try to, to avoid any kind of big cabinet space. So that's the first thing. The second thing is is really going to be how close you are to the microphone. So the closer you are to the microphone, the stronger the signal is from yeah. your voice. That's going to power any sort of re reverberation in the room. Yeah. And you're going to get a much stronger positive signal clean and recording. And and the last bit really is going to be, you know, try and aspire to get the, the highest quality microphone you have. Because, you know, it's 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 the most involved thing. It's converting the, the, the acoustic audio energy into electrical energy with parts. Yeah, really try to get the best quality to produce the account. I think if you follow those for your tip too, look, you'll always be somewhere in the ballpark to get the best possible sound. Definitely. I'm going to ask you another question because there's a lovely pair of headphones here. Yeah, yeah. You see a lot of podcasters wearing headphones. Yeah. I wear headphones myself when recording. Yeah. Why do we do that? Why is that important? I think there's a couple of reasons. Again, monitoring your own voice. So when you've got headphones on, you kind of, when you're a bit close to the sound, 
and it tends to give you more consistency in the level that you're outputting probably. And the second is often podcasts is multiple people. So again, it gives you a control, control enclosed monitor environment. Yep. And that means that you can be nice and balanced next to your guest or host. And yep. it, it just helps you to that. Yeah. Defined monitor environments. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Ash. Thank Pleasure. you for your colleague who drew you onto the bus to talk <laughs> to me. I really, really appreciate it. That was myself and Ash from Shaw talking at the podcast show London all about how to get the most out of your microphone and also why it is important to wear headphones when you are recording your podcast. The next episode that I would love you to listen to is episode 65, where we talk about how expensive does your microphone actually need to be in order to have a successful podcast. If you are thinking of upgrading your microphone, buying your first microphone for your podcast, whatever it is, I would recommend checking out episode 65. I'll leave the link down in the show notes or you can just scroll through until you find ep 65. How much do you need to be spending on your podcast microphone? As ever, I'm Verity. Hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.